Well, let's talk about Lipo Lee, because he out here got Beyonce name in his mouth. So on his latest podcast, media personality and thirsty attention seeker Jason Lipo Lee claims that Beyonce and Jay-Z's team reached out to him regarding the latest legal drama regarding Diddy. So, you know, this is, I know this stories are making the rounds and all this other stuff, but I'm sitting there like, well, why the hell would they call him, of all people? In regards to this, because, yeah, he took to his page. I don't know if I even want to play it, because I feel like I would just roll my eyes through the whole video. So during the latest episode of his podcast, Hollywood Unlocked, Lee addressed the situation. And then he had this little queen sitting across from him that was just cackling, salivating. I'm like, who are these lame asses that's on this screen? But anyway, so he said, Jay-Z, I know you're watching because you got people calling me. Stop having people call me. You can call me yourself. You know how to get my number. You got people calling me. Call me yourself. How many times you got to say call me in this goddamn paragraph call me yourself because this right here is going to go viral so clearly you're looking to go viral by keeping jay and bay's name in your mouth he said i will tell you to the audience if i do come up missing all the calls i've been getting have been about him lee did not or did know that he hasn't received any threatening calls so why the hell would he say that so why the hell are you out here trying to perpetuate a narrative that you're that you're going to end up missing in a ditch somewhere like Jay-Z is another goon that's out here just, you know, making people disappear. Because clearly you want attention. Because clearly Beyonce continues to pay you dust. You you look pathetic chasing her around that party back when you was, you know, pre-lipo, running around the place, trying to get, a, or get her autograph or get a photo with her. Then it's like when you don't get the A-listers don't pay you dust and won't give you an interview. We've seen how you work. You trash people on, you also trash other bloggers and YouTubers because you want all the attention on you, but that's a whole nother conversation for another day. Then you go and, um, you know, you create all these little situations. You all, Every time you have a conversation on your thing, you have to let everybody know who you're friends with. You got to let people know you got your friends with Cardi B, your friends with Tiffany Haddish, your friends with this celebrity, your friends with that celebrity. Who freaking cares? And you're mad that Beyonce won't pay you, that paid you dust. And then we know that you bought the ticket to the Renaissance tour. You was not getting invited by Beyonce. She wasn't sending you a gift basket like she was sending T.S. Madison and the rest of them. So you're mad because... You're outside the club and you can't get in, in the words of Chris Brown. <laughs> so that's what you're mad about, that Beyonce is paying you dust. But why would she give you what you want? And the thing is, when it comes to these bloggers, influencers, whatever, I feel like a lot of them, you know, he's sort of a quid pro quo type. That, that's what he gives me. Like, to me, he's like the high gala version of Perez Hilton. And yes, I know over the years that Perez Hilton has found a way to... um rehabilitate his image. I know people still trash him or whatever the case was, but Perez has put in the work of trying to rehabilitate his image and not being perceived as the person that he once was. Or he used to draw like penises and stuff on people's pictures and stuff. And then the biggest person I believe he became friends with, biggest, most famous person he became friends with was Lady Gaga. And then they had that nasty falling out. So I feel like when it comes to Jason Lee, that he gives like he um, he has to pull some sort of stunt or whatever to be friends with these celebrities. Me, I'm like Wendy Williams. I talk about the celebrities. I go to the blinds and I go to, and I go about my business. I'm not trying to be friends with these celebrities. I've been around enough celebrities to know how the game is played. I don't have no interest in wanting to hobnob and rub elbows and wanting to have Rihanna's number in my phone or whatever and then brag about it on my show. I'm not trying to pull no stunts or try to blackmail people into being my friend because you got some tea on them and you have and that's the only way that you could be friends with these people. So he was over here threatening that there was some tea that he has that he was going to drop and all this other stuff and basically talking about how they're calling him about Diddy. Now, why the hell would they call him about Diddy? This sounds like the same foolish that you trying to jump on this bandwagon because Jack Wild Wright took us up over, over there to them white folks and finally got some attention. And that's when their lawyer decided to sick their, you know, teeth, their fangs into... Piers Morgan and them over there, which forced Piers Morgan to affiliate, uh, uh, facilitate an apology. So now you're like, let me try to see if I can get a little attention. So now the blogs is talking about you. So now people are talking about your show because quiet as it's kept, I don't know anybody out here talking about Jason Lee's show. Yeah, you got Hollywood Unlocking. Yeah, you're doing what you're doing with your, your award show. You're giving it out to people like Jonathan Majors. 
whose career is pretty much in the toilet. Except now I heard that that movie that he has, where he was playing the bodybuilder, finally got a distributor and is about to come out in the movies. It'll probably flop like um, The Apprentice because I hear that it's by the same production company. But um, for the most part, nobody cares. But, you know, we already talked about all the lawsuits and stuff from earlier in regards of um, Diddy. So we don't have to regurgitate that again. But my thing is this, is that I don't believe one word coming out of this thirsty queen's mouth. Now, why would Jay and Bay call someone who's called their own daughter Blue Ivy nappy headed? Because he said that about her. But you want Jay and Bay to call you? You want um, Jay to call you to, to find out the tea on what's been going on in regards to this whole Diddy situation? Also, why would they want to contact him, of all people, about what's going on with the diddler? Because if they sent some of their lawyer to go after Piers Morgan, I'm sure they aren't having any one of their team comparing some small fish in a big pond. So, like, if he's looking to go viral, then why not post the receipts? If Jay-Z's team is contacting you, then post the receipts. So I'm sick of people trying to create imaginary scenarios because you're not in the in the conversation like so many other YouTube pundits and other media personalities are. You're trying to be Wendy Williams. You don't have the range. You don't. You don't have the wherewithal. You're not that entertaining. You got to have co-hosts to sit beside you, sitting there salivating at the mouth and like agreeing to every damn thing you're saying. You try to sabotage other people's careers. I don't live by this shit, so I can say whatever the hell I want. You know, I make my money other ways. So um, I just feel like Jason has always been trash. I never liked him. I've always felt that it was just, he's very opportunistic. I don't like braggers. I don't like people that get on social media, always want to sit and brag about the, oh, I have this friend. Right okay, so what's the price? Of, what's that got to do with the price of tea in China? I've been hobnobbing and been around enough celebrities, and I'm like, I'm not impressed by this mess. So if that's what you feel the need to make yourself feel whole as a human being, because clearly you can't fill it with food, so you got to fill it with other things, then you go ahead and do that, niece. So I say, Alyssa, say, what do y'all think of this story? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in this comments, in the comments down below.